Hello and welcome to today's Milani Minute. Today we're looking at the final sola. We've been looking at these throughout this week. We've looked at, at uh, uh, scripture alone, faith alone, grace alone, Christ alone. And today we look at to the glory of God alone. Soli Deo Gloria. Uh, this means that God alone is the one who gets all of the glory. Everything that we do, say, all of the work, all of uh, every action that we do is to glorify God. All of nature glorifies God. When we climb to the top of a mountain and look over the vista, we see this beauty, which is reflecting, at least in part, the glory of God, His creation. Uh, if you've ever gotten an email from me, you see part of my signature is the, the Soli Deo Gloria, or SDG, which is to the glory of God alone. Uh, I didn't come up with that. I know a few of my uh, uh, professors in seminary did that. A few of my pastor friends do that as well. Uh, and it is a, a reminder that we do all of that, all that we do for the glory of God. Uh, I actually started doing it because of uh, J.S. Bach, the composer. Uh, he used to write SDG on all of his manuscripts as a reminder to himself and anyone that saw them uh, that he did that to God's glory. He didn't do it for his own credit. In fact, he was actually uh, uh, not seen in high regard for his compositions uh, until uh, a few centuries later. Um, but that all that he did was for God's glory. Uh, we should seek to do all things for God's glory. We see this idea all throughout Scripture, uh, and we, we see it that that's part of our purpose, if not our purpose uh, entirely. Uh, we see this in Isaiah 43, verse 7. This is uh, coming from the Lord. The beginning of this verse 1, thus says the Lord. Uh, but we're just going to look at verse 7 alone where it says, Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. God made us for his glory. All of, the, all of us who are in his name, all of those that are believers, were created for his glory. Everything was created for his glory. Uh, but there is a special purpose to believers in glorifying his name. Uh, that, that's what we are created for. Um, in the Westminster Catechism, the first question uh, is, what is the chief end of man? The chief end of man is to glorify God. That is our purpose. That is our created purpose. Uh, in, in Psalm 115, we see this psalmist uh, crying out about this uh, in praise that not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory for the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness. Uh, and this is an important thing. There's a, a song that, that we occasionally sing. We haven't sung it actually in a, a couple months just because of COVID and all that. But it's the not to us. And that's what that is based on is the Psalm 115 that uh, we should do things and we should do them well, but we should do them for God's glory. We should do them to our humility, recognizing that the things we can do are because God gave us the ability to do those things. But we should do them to his glory. Um, it, this isn't just an Old Testament idea. There's other passages in the Old Testament that reflect this, and there's several in the New Testament as well. Uh, but I'll read first, uh, first Peter chapter four verses ten and eleven, where it says, "As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards uh, of God's varied grace." Whoever speaks as one who speaks oracles of God, whoever serves as one who serves by the strength that God supplies, in order that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to Him belong the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Uh, in that we see very specifically a call to go out and glorify God, but in it specifically we're called to do everything to the best of our ability. It, it doesn't say those things because they're particular abilities within the church, but it's saying if you are called to do this, do it as if you are doing it for God. Uh, if you are a mechanic, don't act like you're fixing a car for a customer or for a boss. Fix it like you are fixing it for God himself. Look to glorify his name in everything we do. We should look to show people our belief by the effort that we put into things like that. And that's not to say that it needs to be perfect but that we need to do it excellently to the best of our ability. 
uh, and we should seek to be better those abilities in any way that we can. Uh, but everything that we do should be to the glory of God. Uh, everything that we teach, everything that we preach, uh, we do so to the glory of God. We want to make sure that He is seen through us. Uh, and part of that is crafting things well. Um, and then part of it is just that attitude, that focus, that it is for God and His glory, that we are humble in those things. And that doesn't mean that we can't take credit for a job well done, but that we need to be humble about it and remember that we were able to do it because of who God is, not because of how good we are, but because of the grace and power that He's given us. But through this week, we've looked at these uh, these five different ideas, and all of them flow from one to the other, uh, and they end with this, that all of these things are to give God glory. Uh, and there's a phrase that ties them all together, um, and the, I, I didn't do them in order of this phrase this week. I did them in a different order uh, that, that worked better and that for these videos, uh, but it is that by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, according to the scriptures alone, for the glory of God alone. That is why we do these things. That is why we serve in the church. That is why we uh, look to do whatever we can do in this world. We do it all for the glory of God, because He has given us these gifts. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you because you have blessed us so abundantly. We thank you because you have given us far more than we deserve. And today, Lord, we just ask that you help us to glorify your name, whether it's Sunday morning or in Bible studies or just at a normal job, a nine to five job uh, that's completely separated from the church. We just ask that through your power, through your grace, you help us to do the job well and that we may proclaim your name in that place. We ask that you help us to see who you are and the glory of your creation, but then our place to bring that glory to the nations. We thank you for everything that you have done and given to us. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you.